Hey everyone, so it's my January favourites and there's going to be quite a few because it's been my birthday so I've got a lot and also um, there were some other exciting things that happened which obviously I'll talk about in my favourites. So I apologise in advance because my hair's still wet. I'm literally about to walk out the door as well. Um, I'm meant to be going out for a birthday dinner. So I thought I'd start off um, as usual what I've done is split it down into categories. So first of all my fave makeup. And I kind of have quite a lot because I have been experimenting. And if you see my Instagram, which is at Lealoo81, if you've seen that, you will see that I have been experimenting quite a lot. So firstly, I want to talk about, um, well, let's start with my, obviously my favourite makeup brand of, of 2014 was Makeup Revolution. And everybody's been going mad over these and I haven't really been using them. I bought it. But I think these two at the end, I'm never really going to use. But actually, all of these are really amazing. So the one that looks, it sort of looks purple, actually swatches quite pink, which I didn't realise. They're very highlighty, so if you didn't want to use a highlight and a blush, this works really well. And then this one here is one that I use quite a lot, but actually that's more of a highlight. And then this one down here as well surprised me. I didn't really use it, I don't know why. But that's very corally, so I'm, I'm really enjoying playing around with that. I used this um, white one today for my highlight here. It's I had to re-blend it because it's actually really outstanding. So that was fine. So my second kind of discovery recently has been the Full Slash Telescopic Infinite Length Effect. It says fibres, but this is basically one of the best mascaras I've used in a while. I really liked the wonderful one last year, Wonderful by Rimmel. I really enjoyed that and actually it's very nice um, for making my lashes just look a bit better than they are. But this one, let's take my glasses off. I don't know whether you can see right now. I wouldn't say they were completely spidery. I think my eyelashes are just rubbish. They go in all directions. But this one has been just so amazing um, for my for my eyes, it opens them up. I love the brush, I'll just show you that first. The brush is immense. I don't know if you can see, it's just a really odd, very short bristles. It's flat there, which has got a load of product on, and then it's kind of, it's almost like a comb. That's the only way I can describe it. And it's flexible as well. I just love it, I think it's great. I've, my partner's tried it as well, and I think we're both a fan. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is, I got the beauty blender recently and I think it's brilliant but I also purchased from Kiko excuse how grubby it is I just used it today I bought their beauty blender which is a lot cheaper and I have to say and I, I never thought I'd say this but this is comparable if you are looking although it doesn't have the point it's kind of curved as you can see here I probably prefer the point actually I think this is so you can kind of get into the eye work it into the nose and it does do that but I would say that this is just so good for kind of just patting on and evening out. I used it today. My makeup looks flawless with it. I love it. And like the Beauty Blender one, it again is really spongy. I've, I've obviously wet this. When you get it, it's a lot smaller. And they obviously are a little bit more dense. You've got to wet them. Love it, love it, love it. It really is comparable and it's a lot cheaper. So um, next I'm going to go on to kind of my lip favourites. I've got one on my lips, I think I spoke about this before. My girlfriend bought me this for Christmas. Oh, she's not my girlfriend anymore. She's my fiance. Bought me this for Christmas and it's a NYX butter gloss and it's an angel food cake. Now, I'm not sure why she picked this. I think it's because I'd said I was looking for rosier toned lip colours. I'm not a gloss fan, but these are so amazing. They're not sticky. They are quite a nice colour payoff without being too dramatic. This is, I hate to say this awful phrase, excuse me, I just realised I've got stuff under my lips. But, I, you know, this is very much my lips but better kind of colour. It's brilliant for work. It's brilliant when I do a dramatic eye. I love it, I love it, I love it. I definitely will recommend it. The second thing, and it's another Kiko thing actually, is this Kiko Ace of Diamonds lip pencil. It doesn't tell you what colour it is, it just says 34, but I think it's something fuchsia. And everybody's been going mad over the Exaggerate lip liners it's similar to that but i don't like the exaggerate ones because they break off every time i've used one the top just breaks off but this it just the, the it is just a mate look at that so good and i use it as a lipstick as well as a liner and i just love the color i love how creamy it is i'm definitely going to be repurchasing 100 percent going to get that again 
love it that's why it's in my favorites i suppose um this is an oldie but a goodie i'm going to mention it again because i just love it and i've been using it so much this palette here which is chroma beauty which you can see i've made a massive dent in that that is basic this is basically a palette that's the courtney kim and well kardashian the chloe kardashian this is their beauty product chroma beauty and Courtney's Cardazzle is the one that I've got. I've actually got Chloe's as well, which is a new, more neutral. But there's something about this one that I really like because it's got like a gorgeous cranberry kind of mix in there. I really like, I, I like all the colours, all of them, and I use them all. So definitely, definitely, if you can find this anywhere, I would recommend buying it because it's so good. A lot of people said that the, the powders, were, the powders, the eyeshadows were powdery. I don't think so. I think the colour payoff's good, especially in metallic -y kind of ones. Gorgeous. Love them, love them, love them. So the second one that I've been using a lot, and I use it in some tutorials, and today is the final day of the giveaway, is this palette here. It's the Palette Nude by um, L'Oreal. I think this is, this is the rose one. It says rose there. I think that's because they're going to bring out a series of these. This is stunning. I, I really have been able to create some beautiful looks with it. I don't know whether you can see just how beautiful they are. The camera's not really picking up the kind of sheen on them and how beautiful. I mean, look at this one. I've not used that yet. It's like a taupey colour, really good colour payoff once again. Um, L'Oreal have done really well with this. Now, I've just seen that YSL have brought out something really similar. So potentially this is a dupe for that. Um, and I love it. I think it's it's definitely a lovely size as well. It's not too big, goes in the handbag, I think it's great. And I will be announcing my giveaway winner soon. Um, and I think, yes, that is it for makeup. So on to skincare. Um, I've only got one product and it was something that I bought for my birthday. Well, I didn't. Claire bought it for me for my birthday. Um, and it is my L'Occitane hand cream. This is the key that I've had. I've spoken about it on my blog for ages. Um, I constantly talk about it. I think it may have even been in my last day, but it definitely was in my empties. I've got a new one now. So that's how much I put on. Um, I do put it all over my hands and it just sinks in straight away. Oh, I've just got <laughs> that swatch of my hand. It's not coming off though. That's how good the, uh, the, lip, the lip pencil is. Um, and it's the only thing that seems to help soothe this small bit of, you can't even see it on camera, got a tiny bit of eczema that I never knew I had until this year, love it, and it, it just smells just so lovely and fresh and clean, it's my favourite. So, on to fashion. Um, so I haven't really been wearing or buying anything that I haven't already got, to be honest. I haven't done a lot of clothes shopping, but I have over Christmas been bought some slippers and if you were have been looking at my blog recently um you'll see that um I wrote about these in my what I wore Wednesday I honestly can't wait to get home to put these on these are one pair I really like them I love these beauty style ones um I love the neutral colors of those and these are another pair with the little detail here I'm sorry but you can't go wrong with just kicking off your shoes when you get in the house and popping on your slippers that are boots. We have hard floors all downstairs as well, so it's just nice to put something on that's going to keep your feet warm. I love it. So that's my favourite things for fashion. Um, next is favourite organisation and my lovely colleague, who you may have seen in one of my vlogs, we were singing together, it was quite funny. She bought me this lovely diary for Christmas. Um, now, I've already got an organiser, but this has been quite staple in my laptop case. Um, it's really, I think it's by, let me just see who it's by. I've never heard of them before. Posh Planner. Um, I don't know where they're from. I don't know what the what the brand is. Yeah, Andrew's Meal. I, I don't know. Kate Spain. Oh, that's the illustration. I don't know, but I love the cover of this. It's kind of embossed, so it's a bit textured. The pages I like, they're really nice and thick. Um, I'm gutted that there wasn't more space available for notes because I do tend to use the note parts of my diaries quite a lot. So yeah, that's just, I love it. I think it's a really nice diary. And I've been using it as a planner more than a diary for my workload. So that's kind of that. Um, okay, so this month I've mainly been drinking tea. In fact, since I moved in with my partner, 
Tea has become my more favourite than coffee. That didn't even make sense of it. Tea has become more favourite than coffee. And um, I love it. And Tetley tea, I just, there is nothing that compares to it in my opinion. I used to like um, Yorkshire tea, but I've gone off it recently. And I think it might be because of our water. Our water's really, really hard. So there's only certain teas that work with it. And Tetley works really well. I love Tetley tea. But I also like lemon and ginger tea. And the one at Aldi is comparable to Twinings. I love it. It's really cost effective. You get 80 bags for about 50 pence. And it's so nice. It warns off colds and everything. So that's been one of my favourites, food-wise, drink-wise. Um, and then before I get onto my favourite YouTubers, I suppose um, the most amazing favourite thing that has happened is that I have now got a fiancé and I was it proposed to and that's all in my blog um but yeah so this ring is definitely my favorite thing of for January ever it's my top favorite I'm so happy it's so sparkly and beautiful and it makes me the happiest girl in the world I love it and I'm just I can't wait to marry my best friend next year so that is definitely my favorite thing of the whole of January and nothing will ever compare to that um and finally my favorite youtubers i've got quite a few this year ones that i've um only just discovered some that i've been watching for a while i've actually got three americans and one uh, uk and uh, my favorite one that i really honestly only discovered last week her name's melissa autry or melissa autry i don't know how you say it She's like got a really Alabama type accent. I just find her hilarious. Her personality is crazy. She does sniff a lot, but she's got a bit of a sinus problem. Uh, she was she was explaining earlier. It doesn't bother me because I'm a sniffer, so I suppose it doesn't really bother me. Um, in fact, hold on. Uh, excuse me. Um, and then um, what would Lizzie do? I think she's just really engaging with the camera. I do like her. I think she's absolutely stunning as well. It's very difficult for me to kind of get on board with the sort of makeup style she does because she's such a lovely golden caramel colour and I'm white as a sheet. Um, Manny MUA, I feel like I've been a bit of a stalker recently. He just reminds me of one of my old friends who is just one of the most beautiful people in the world and if I remember I'm going to put a picture and just slide it into here um and maybe another one there one of him in as himself and then one of him in drag and um oh he doesn't do that anymore but when we were younger it was it, you know that's what he did and it just makes me so happy to see somebody he is American Manny anyway but I think he's beautiful and I think he comes across really well on camera. And finally, um, the YouTuber that I've been, if I see a video, I'll definitely watch it. And, and I have mentioned a couple before, but Lily Pebbles, I've really enjoyed her videos. I've, I have found her maybe over a month ago and um, I think she's brilliant. I think she's got a real natural ability to describe what she likes and what she's doing. So I think I find her the most... Um, at the moment, the one that I'll watch every single video of her. So I'm I'm really enjoying that. So yeah, that, that basically concludes my January favourites. There are quite a lot of them, especially makeup. Um, and I hope that you will maybe say some of your favourites down below. I'd like to hear what your favourites are. I will be announcing my giveaway. Um, not today, it might be yesterday because this will probably be uploaded tomorrow. So I'll upload, I will be announcing that or I will have announced that. Um, but yeah, I hope you have had a wonderful January and you're looking forward to February. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. Comment below if you wish and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.